Disney Channel. Of all the values we cleavers try to teach our children, some of course are more important than others. No matter how hard you try, kids will always leave the house without making their beds or they'll hide their kidney dreams in the flower vase. But in our family, we place honesty at the top of the list. Unfortunately, a lie can sometimes seem like the easy solution to a problem. But the longer you live with that lie, the harder it becomes to face the truth. And that's what our story's about in this episode of Still the Beaver. for sharing your birthday present with us. Well, class, while that may have been difficult for some of us, there's a tremendous scientific value in seeing a real calf's brain. <laughs> Hubert, next time you have something disgusting to share, share it with me first. Miss Canfield! Miss Canfield! Okay, Melissa. Uh, let's remember now, the important thing is how much joy something brings, uh, not how much it costs. I'll try, Miss Hanson. Today I'd like to share something very special to me. And they're just about impossible to find in Mayfield. But my father went to New York on a business trip and brought me home. If it's another saloon, of course, I'd rather see cow brains. <laughs> My very own mulberry bush doll. Oh. Oh. Big deal. Isn't she beautiful? And she's even more expensive than my cabbage patch doll. Sorry, Miss Campbell. <laughs> Look at her. I hate her. Me too. I bet that stupid thing isn't even a real mulberry bush doll. J.J. Rutherford, where are you going? Just to get a closer look, make sure it's real. Trainer. It was the most awesome video. The guitar player goes into this solo. Whoa, whoa, wow! Then the guitar turns into this humongous snake. Then the whole band becomes spiders eating neon flies. Grandma thought it was 
different. But my dad's making me somewhat concentrated. Hi, you Chip. How'd you for one? Dad! Uh, get serious. She won't leave me alone. She's going to kiss me all day. She's sick. And you're on your own. <laughs> one of your own. It's the next best thing. I do too have one. I just don't have to brag about it. You're lying, Kelly Cleaver. Am not. Are too. Am not. Okay, prove it. Bring it to school on Monday. Well, uh, okay. You all heard her. Monday. Perfect. Enjoy your weekend. If you can. Kelly, how could you say something so stupid? I don't know. I just opened my mouth and that's what came out. <laughs> That's pretty good, huh? What's wrong, hon? Dad, you know those mulberry bush dogs? You mean the ones that were on the cover of Time magazine? I gotta have one. Well, we'll see if we can't work something out, okay? Mm. Do you think we could work something out by Monday so I could take it to school? Kelly, you didn't tell someone that you already have one of these dogs, did you? I told everyone. <laughs> Can we move to China? Well, now, you know what you did was wrong. I know. I just cracked. Not Melissa again. Well, I, uh, I don't approve of what you did. But, uh, there's no law that says a father can't spoil his little girl now and then. Oh, Daddy, I love you. And you don't have to buy me another present for the rest of my life. You really mean that? Probably not. <laughs> Believe it, finally, somebody actually has one. It's about time. We've been to 85 stores already. Beaver, that's a mulberry bush doll. That thing? That's what we've been dragging all over the county for? I thought it at least looked cute like E.T. I don't care what it looks like. They've got one, and it's mine. Uh, Kelly. Goodness. Hey. <laughs> Can't you read? We're closed. This will only take a second. I know exactly what I want. Yeah, that ugly doll in the window. <laughs> oh. 
is that all? You'll just give me twenty-nine ninety-five, tax included, the dollars you'll have. Great, great. Uh, here you go. Now just put your name, address, and telephone number right there, and we'll contact you just as soon as our next shipment arrives. Shipment should be no longer than twelve to fourteen weeks. Fourteen weeks? Uh, what about the one in the window? It's not for sale. It's my display model. Yeah, I can't wait. Be a big boy. <laughs> uh, sir, do you have any children? Three girls. Well, was there ever something that they wanted so badly that you just had to buy it for them? Oh, yes, but it's still in the window. <laughs> My daughter needs that doll. My daughter needs braces. Perhaps we could work something out. <laughs> That's bribery. I prefer to think of it as the law of supply and demand. <laughs> I promised my little girl one of those dolls, and you are going to sell it to me at the suggested retail price, or you and your daughter are going to need braces. Wally. Now, wait a minute. Do you want to get disbarred over a doll? Beaver, I went to school for seven years. I took an oath to support the law. Do you want the ugly doll or not? <laughs> You think he'll take a check? <laughs> Look, Wally, I know it was expensive, but you probably got the last one in the whole state. Yeah, for 120 bucks, you'd think you would have gift-wrapped it. Mine was only 79 cents, but I think it's a lot cuter. Yeah, boys are easier to please. already. It was real good. But it says right here, do not remove under penalty of law. I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> well, okay, I'll do it. But if I get sent to the slammer, you'll have to eat your own screen beans. Okay, okay. <laughs> kids at school on Monday. What am I gonna do? Tell me your dog did it. We don't have a dog. <laughs> Get Uncle Wally to buy you one. Then we can play with it. Ollie, I've got grief here. We don't have a cow over this, Kelly. There's gotta be something we can do. Why don't you borrow one? I thought of that. But I don't know anyone else who has one. Me neither. Except for that creepy snail face, Peggy Morgan. <laughs> oh no! I know what you're thinking. Please! I ain't going over there. Not for you or nobody. I'm not nobody. I'm your cousin. We're family. We help each other. Besides, if you don't go, I'll tell Dad who put the bubble gum in his bowling ball. <laughs> oh, that was surprised to hear from you after you called me a mushhead. Uh, well, uh, it was the end of a rough day. We forgot a lot of dolls. 
Once in a while, I'd like something else, but my parents have no imagination. Oh, this is pretty fancy stuff, huh? Thank you. I only bring these plates up for special occasions. For every day, I use Flintstone wear. <laughs> Don't you like tea? Oh, yeah. It's just that my lips burn easy. So, tell me about yourself. Well, first I was born, then my parents got divorced, and now I'm in the fourth grade. Do you have a lot in common? Probably not, because I'm a boy, and I like cars, getting dirty, and dinosaurs. Do you like me? The, the funny thing about dinosaurs is, even though they were real big, they were pretty stupid. But do you like me? Uh, ow! <laughs> Oliver, I asked you if you liked me, and I'm not going to ask you again. That's a relief. Why don't you just say it? You hate me, don't you? Yes. You're a sappy girl who lives with sappy dolls and drinks sappy tea. And the only reason I was even trying to be nice to you is because my cousin Kelly needs to borrow your sappy mulberry bush doll so her whole class don't laugh at her. And she won't have to move to China. But it ain't worth it. Oliver! Give this to Kelly. Tell her she can keep it as long as she needs to. You're gonna do that even after all those sappy names I called you? You better go now. Bye. One, two, three, four, five. General knowledge. Oh, I'm good at that. All right, Mrs. Cleaver. Your question is, how many stars in the Big Dipper? That's general knowledge. <laughs> Come on, just take a... Hey, now, wait a minute. Still looking out the window. That's cheating. <laughs> um, 23. Ah. Uh... I'm sorry, Mrs. Cleaver, but we do want to leave you with a year's supply of bean dip. I don't know why this game is so popular. Two. Geography. Good luck. Kapu is the capital of what country? What is that, Mom? Kuala Lumpur. Is the capital of what country? Malaysia. You know, have you been studying the cards again? Yes, honey, that's what I do after you go to sleep every night. <laughs> Oh, I'll get it. Here, Mom, take my turn. Four. One, two, three, four. History! All right, Mrs. Cleaver, now take your time. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant. Ah! Uh, General and Mrs. Grant. This game is the product of a sick mind. <laughs> you won't believe this. Kelly! down here. Kelly lost her doll in the park, and a little boy found her name in it and brought it home. I'm going to take a load off her mind. Yeah, Dad? Um, Kelly, I, uh... What is it, Dad? I, uh, rotated my tires today. Again? <laughs> yeah, well, you never can be too safe. <laughs> Are you enjoying your doll? Oh, Daddy, I love her. And I'd never let her out of my sight. <clears throat> yes, I can see that. <laughs> um, well, we'll be up in a little while and say goodnight, sweetheart. Where'd she get 120 bucks for a doll? How much? I, that's not important. The point is that she stood there and pretended like nothing was wrong. And you stood there and let her get away with it. Well, 
Under the circumstances, I think it was the best thing he could have done. She knows she did something wrong. If I know my granddaughter, she'll be down here with a little confession any minute. And if she doesn't? Don't ask me. I only raise boys. <laughs> It's 8.23. How much longer can she live with herself? Now, don't sell her short. She still has seven minutes to bear her soul and not be late for school. I think that's six. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. I have to clean the rabbit's cage after school, so I'll be home late. Uh, Kelly, uh, isn't there something that you wanted to tell your mother and me? Dad? Yes, sweetie? Uh, can I have some lunch money? It's Sloppy Joe Day. Yeah, yeah, sure. Here. Now, is there anything else? No. Nothing else. Thanks anyway. Bye. Okay, Mary Ellen, I think she's had enough of a chance. Kelly! Kelly, get back in here! Something wrong, Dad? No. I just didn't want you to leave without this. <laughs> Kelly, if you lost your doll, why didn't you tell us about it? I wanted to, except what good would that have done? You wouldn't let me get another one. And all the kids at school would have thought I was lying. But you were lying. Only until Dad bought me the doll. Wally? Oh, uh, well, yeah, but there was a good reason for that. Well, I guess there wasn't. Well, it seems that I didn't set a very good example for you. Say, so you lied and I rewarded you. That's wrong. Um, I didn't want to lie. But I had to show that Melissa. Sweetheart, sometimes it's easier to lie. Whether it's about having a doll or how much you like your mother's broccoli quiche. I thought you told me you liked my broccoli quiche. I lied. But I make it every week. You see, you see, when you tell a lie, it just keeps spreading. And then you have to cover it up with another lie. Like we did with the doll. But if you tell the truth, it may hurt in the beginning. But uh, in the long run, you won't have to eat green quiche every week. <laughs> now, does that make any sense to you? I kind of knew what I did was all wrong. But I was hoping I wouldn't have to learn my lesson until after I showed Melissa up. Could I wait a little longer? That's up to you, Kelly. Well, well, well. I think Kelly was too afraid to show up. I knew she didn't have a mulberry bush doll. Did you think you would sneak in after the bell rang? Why would I want to do that? Because you lied about having a doll. You're right. I'm always right. I have two. Oh. Kelly's my best friend. Oh. Well, I hope you're happy now. You know, I thought I would be, but I'm not. You see, I didn't have the doll when I said I did. You lied. Yeah. See, I was right. Yeah, it was really dumb. And I know nobody's gonna like me for it now. I will. Except for JJ. But you know, if people only like you for your dolls, then they're not really your friends. And that's all I have to say. Good morning, Melissa. Looks like you did have to go out and buy all new friends. Mm -hmm. We've only got five minutes. Dad, you have to go inside for me. Kids will think I'm a whimper. 
forget it. The last time you had a dental appointment, you buried yourself in the sandbox. Now, wait a minute. I don't care what your horoscope said today. You are going to the dentist. It'll only take a second. Okay, but just a second. I'm parked in the bus zone. Thank hey, you. Here's your doll back. Thanks for the loan. You're welcome. You know, you're really not just a bad guy for a girl. And I probably would like you okay if you didn't always chase me around and go... I guess I have been a little obvious. You know, I got a new dinosaur book, and maybe you could come over and look at it sometime. Really? Let me do that? Sure. As long as you didn't tell any of my friends. Oliver, that was very nice. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, I figured after that, going to the dentist will be a cinch. Well, I don't know.